Blessings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Kinney from St. Matthew Lutheran Church, School and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois, and welcome to the devotional moment. This week we are celebrating the transfiguration of our Lord. St. Luke records that Jesus was on the mountain with Peter, John, and James. And behold, two men were talking with Jesus, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure, which he was about to accomplish in Jerusalem. Why Moses? Because the Lord chose Moses to lead his people out of Egypt in what is known as the Exodus, or departure. Through Moses, God rescued his people from the land of bondage. The Lord saved them from the land of slavery and brought them to the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Yet, as blessed a man as Moses was, he too had sinful streaks in the windows of his life. It was because of his public display of disobedience to the Lord that he was not permitted to enter the promised land. But that's exactly why the beloved Son of God, Jesus the Christ, came to this earth to deal with sin, the sin of Moses, my sin, your sin, the sins of all people for all time. Jesus Christ came to lead his people, you and me, in the exodus or departure from the bondage of sin and to give you and me in that same exodus his promised eternal life in heaven. Let us pray. O God, in the glorious transfiguration of your beloved Son, you confirmed the mysteries of the faith by the testimony of Moses and Elijah. In the voice that came from the bright cloud, you wonderfully foreshowed our adoption by grace. Mercifully make us co-heirs with the King of his glory and bring us to the fullness of our inheritance in heaven. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Until next time, please remember that God sent his Son to save you from the land of sin and into his glorious heaven. And thank you for joining in the devotional moment.